Hi, hello and welcome, Micro Hunter here. Look what I've got here. This is another beautiful antique microscope slide, uh, probably again 100 years old. And uh, this uh, microscope slide has a thistle bug on it. Or oh, really? Hmm. What is that, a thistle bug? Unfortunately, I was not able to find any insect with that name. And uh, when I looked at it, I could immediately see, well, it is not a bug. <laughs> it's not a bug either, because bugs have a very typical structure of their, uh, of their wings, and this simply does not fit. And look at this here. What does this even mean, the second word here? Tinges? Tingus? I don't even, I'm not even able to read this word properly and I don't even know what this means. Um, so maybe some of you are able to help uh, out here and maybe um, you're able to help out to give this insect a name and to identify what it is. So if there are any hobby entomologists out there that are willing to help, um, please do leave your comments. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it under the microscope because it indeed does look uh, quite pretty. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Isn't this a great uh, specimen? <laughs> look at the nice uh, looking head. And very interesting are, is uh, the, the pattern of the wings. Look at this. Uh, the wings have this uh, typical uh, net-like pattern. There are, of course, insects uh, that have this uh, type of, of wing pattern, but there are around five to 6,000 species of those. Uh, and uh, I was not able, of course, uh, to identify which insect it is. And also a little bit strange here, those insects that do have those net-like wings. Actually, they should not have a stinger. But look, this almost looks like, like a stinger here. Um, yeah, or two even. Or I don't know. what. Um, yeah, um, this is not really very clear to me what it is. Um, and in any case, uh, the specimen, if you look here um, on the front uh, as well, um, also, yeah, this uh, interesting specimen also does not have very long antenna either. And I do suppose, or I do hope at least, that the antenna have not... Uh, been, uh, yeah, have not broken off here. I'm not able to, to actually see this properly. And there are also no, yeah, there are also, look at the mouth parts over here. I think this almost looks like it has a very long proboscis. This is a tongue. Yeah, also here a little bit, you're able to see it uh, shine through here because otherwise uh, I'm not able to see any mandibles um, or, or any other mouth parts here. So I do not really know what the insect this is. And also look at this, uh, how many pairs of wings does it even have? Is this here actually one pair of wing? Here it's kind of very strange in a very strange a strange position. And over here in the back, we've got the second pair of wings. Yeah, so that is of course, two pairs of wings is nothing unusual, but what I consider a little bit confusing is, is the rather unique position of this um, yeah, of the smaller wing pair here um, in, in front. So um, yeah, maybe some of you are able to, to give this little uh, insect a name here. But uh, as uh, I've already shown you in my previous slides, those antique slides are really well prepared because whoever made this uh, preparation, this slide, put a lot of time and love into it because look at this, um, the exoskeleton, which is uh, the outside um, of, of the insect, uh, looks transparent. So apparently it has been bleached. The organ the inner organs have been removed. Everything has been properly pressed flat uh, so that we're able to see all of the details here. And uh, everything is uh, quite nicely arranged as well. Look, even the position of the legs, yeah, um, quite uh, properly uh, arranged so that we're able to see all of the parts. Uh, yeah, let's go up a little bit with the magnification. So I'm going to now, this is using my 20 times uh, objective. Yeah. Look, look at the beautiful compound eyes. Um, normally the compound eyes are, um, are actually very dark yeah, because they're pigmented. Here they look white, so apparently um, it's quite obvious that the person who prepared this insect has probably bleached it to remove um, all of the dark pig pigments. Yeah, so it's a very, very nice, uh, very, very nice uh, specimen. Um, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> it is nameless, <laughs> but maybe not for very long. So maybe you're able to help out here as well. Here are the different segments of the insects. Yeah, so quite uh, uh, quite interesting to see. And here, here on the backside, this almost looks like a stinger. Yeah, but uh, I don't know um, if it actually is. So maybe, uh, again, you're able to shed a little bit of light in here. But uh, that is all I wanted to show you today. Um, yeah, a beautiful insect, uh, uh, but uh, nameless. And I'm going to leave it at that. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. And see you around next time. Bye-bye.